Hi everybody, it is me here. My family and I are on a little mini vacation. We came here to Florida to visit um, my husband's parents for, for Christmas. We're having a wonderful time. And I wanted to show you the journaling, writing, stationary items that I brought with me because I like seeing what other people bring with them. However, I like seeing them when they're actually at the places where uh, they're going, not just what I've packed to go take to such and such. So I am gonna do this without rambling a ton. It's gonna happen one day. So I have two different areas that I'm, I'm, I packed uh, writing and stuff for. I have my journaling that I love to do. And also, as I've mentioned before in previous videos, I'm also writing a novel. Um, a lot of people have actually asked me to, to do videos on how I'm doing that and kind of update them, which I was pretty shocked about. I really didn't think anybody was gonna care about that, but I will do that in another video, but I'll show you what I brought with me for that purpose. There's not much, but um, I'll show you that first. So obviously the first thing I brought with me for that purpose is my manuscript. I'm using a, obviously if you're familiar with this kind of stuff, it's a Midori MD notebook. I have the plastic flap on it and up at the top, it just has the, the name of my novel and this thing is so I believe in handwriting your novel first and I started doing it just because it's easier for me to to be creative and get out what's in my head when I'm handwriting it when I sit in front of a laptop I'm a dud so what I've been doing is I will handwrite several chapters and then I'll pop my Yeti mic into my laptop and then I will talk them into my document. I did not bring my Yeti mic with me. You know, it's, it's a lot to pack. So I have spent the past few hours typing in the last, you know, my most recent couple of chapters. Um, I've got 30,000 words typed into my doc so far, which actually, no, I take that back. Where did it go? I've written quite a bit more. I just haven't got it in there yet. Where? Did, oh, it's in my this book. Um, I am 763 words shy of typing into my doc of hitting that 30,000 words, um, but I have around 40 to 50,000 words I've already written because I kind of like. You like I like I count those as well so I am I'm doing pretty good and I'm really glad my uh, in-laws took our kids out to the park um, uh, like a really nice park not like just like a little local park they, they took them out to this great place and then they're going to a video arcade like a video game arcade so I was able to have some time to write um, while here, which I am so grateful and very thankful for. So again, so that's my manuscript I brought with me. Then of course my laptop, which I already shared. I, I love Sinigang, which is true. I'm married to a Filipino and like I'm smelling the Sinigang, um, the, the Sinigang powder right now. There's some bottle that's in the, that's making they're making sinigang i can't cook i'm not making the sinigang but i can eat it a lot of it and i like it very maasim sour so this is my book that i call my one book to rule them all this is just a book that i found at um actually i found it at the the px where i live on post which is really really interesting because i never find anything at the px i went in for something else saw this and i was like whoa so this is from a company called GR or CR Gibson Signatures Design Group. That's all I know about it. The pages are not fountain pen friendly, like they bleed through, but I really don't care. Um, I've got a whole bunch of like pieces of washi on it that I just, I pulled off of something. But it's my 
one day book, I wrote it up there, and then the one book to rule them all, and in the darkness, smite them. So the first part I have up here is my YouTube section. It has like three different sections in here, um, but I'm only utilizing two. I actually moved the back, like I moved this. Okay. This is labeled the YouTube section. And then I moved this back tab further back into um, the other section of paper, and that is my novel writing section. It has all of my notes that I'm keeping and going through and everything for my current novel. And then I also have in here, which is really great because there's so much paper, I have the notes that I'm already writing up and uh, the storyboarding and ideas that I'm writing up for my next novels as well. So that's that. Now, I also brought my Delphonics pouch, which keeps all of my journaling supplies in there, and then a smaller pouch that I've been keeping in my backpack, my backpack purse. So when we go somewhere out, you know, as a family to do everything, then I have that with me because I like to, to do things when we're out and about. Um, so I brought two journals with me, one that I was almost done with and that I knew I would finish while we were here, and then I brought a new one. So this is my B6, old oh girl, this is my B6 Chic Sparrow in um, Mr. Darcy in Buttered Rum. This was when it first came out. It's quite old, but I love it. And I use all of my, I only have a couple um, Chic Sparrows. I have three and I have this sense of loyalty to them and I can't buy any other size. Like this is my B6, it's the only B6 I have. It's the only B6 I will ever use for any of my B6, note, B6 notebooks. I have one, in a, I have a Colonel Brandon in um, an A5, and that's the only one that I'll use in an A5. My original, my first A5 uh, Chic Sparrow was actually in, uh, it was the blue, I don't remember the name of it, but it was the the dark blue one in the um, the Austin line. Um, but it actually got eaten by a dog. I know. So then I, when the A5, when the Colonel Brandon came out, I fell in love with it because it was green. And so I got that. And so that whenever I'm journaling in A5s, that's my cover for my A5s. Um, so, and then I brought an A6, which I'll show you in a minute. So in my B6 here, I have just this notebook that I, I keep in the front for like normal notes, you know, like my, my desires and my wish lists, and then like notes that I take on different things. Um, and I have one of these extra notebooks in the front of each one of my journaling traveler's notebooks. So the notebook that I was journaling in, which I'll pull out real quick, I'm going to do a, a review video on because I haven't been doing my review videos on um, notebooks and journals. I haven't done that in a while and some people have asked for them. So this I just finished is a Naname Cafe Notes in the B6 slim size, uh, with obviously with of course Tomo River paper. This was journal number 34 and I finished it while we were here. Um, Click through. Quick, quick flip through. I'll do more of a flip through when I actually do the um, the review of the journal. Um, I have a couple more, several more I have to do review videos on as well that people have asked for. I didn't know that, I don't know, sometimes with my videos, like my, my channel has kind of nosedived. I used to go every other month I would get a YouTube check and I was you know, getting lots of views and then something happened and now it's every two months I get a YouTube check and I'm like, what did I do wrong? I don't know, but I'm just going to keep doing my thing and whatever algorithm thing happened, I hope it goes away. And so my other traveler's notebook and other journal I brought was, this is a traveler's notebook that I made myself. I cut out the leather by hand. I uh, did the little thing where you go around and you make the thing. I punched out all my holes for stitching. I stitched it by hand. And for the longest time, it was just a natural color, you know, undyed leather, which I loved. Well, 
the other day or like last week or the week before last when Chic Sparrow came out with their new green Gilhart, I was like, are you freaking kidding me, Chic Sparrow? I need it. But at the same time, all of my journaling things that I buy, everything comes from my YouTube check. And when I, and it's not a very big check. I think like every other month I was getting a check for maybe $120, $130. And now it's every two months, you know. So, but that's what I use to get, you know, things that I review and things that I use and I enjoy like fountain pens and whatnot. I just don't have the disposable income to do whatever I want right now. I'm paying off a student loan that is exorbitant and I'm trying to get it paid while the, while we still have the 0% interest. So I'm, I'm trying really hard. So yeah. Any extra money I get, any money I make, it immediately goes to that. So, but I had this and Gilhart came out and I was like, oh, I really want Gilhart and I wanted it in an A6 size. Well, I made this in an A6 size. It obviously doesn't have pockets, but that's okay. So I was like, you know what, Claire, you can make this green. I was like looking online, trying to find green um, uh, leather dye, which is very easy to find. But then I'm like, okay, then I have to buy the dye. Then I have to pay for shipping. Then I have to wait for it to get here. And I'm just like, that sucks. And then I was looking around at my, you know, my things. Cause you know, I kind of like, all right, well maybe I can do something to substitute. And I had some Birmingham Pin Company ink and Kentucky Bluegrass that I really didn't like writing with. I didn't like the way it wrote like a, the green. I'm very particular about my green inks and I love my green inks. The predominant, um, you know, color of all of my inks are green. But I thought maybe, just maybe, maybe I looked on YouTube and I was like, does anybody, has anybody used fountain pen ink to dye leather? I couldn't find really anything. So I was like, you know what? Hold my Mountain Dew. I'm going to do this. So I took some pictures, posted them on Instagram and yeah, so I'm actually very happy with how it turned out. I dyed it the um, Kentucky Bluegrass ink. I did three layers of the ink and then I sealed it with the sealing that you use on the edges. The, I can't remember the name of it, Toke something or other. You seal and you burnishing. So it was a burnishing cream. But I was like, if it's good for burnishing, then I'm gonna use it to seal the, the ink into my thing. So I just used a bit of it and just like buffed it all in and just like got it real, real good and, and, and it's perfect. Like it doesn't come off on my hands. It's not come off on anything and it's just beautiful. And I just have the, like you can see the character in here that was here when it was first the undyed leather. I actually, this is saddling leather and I actually got it um, from the only person locally within about 150 miles of me who does leather work. And um, so he's a saddle maker and he does all this other stuff, but he's older now so he's really not able to do those things so every once in a while I can come in with a little bit of money and buy some you know some of his cast off leathers and that's what this was it was a pretty decent little section not a big section of leather but I've been using it very very sparingly because I really love working with leather but it's very expensive to buy so anyway so I made this did all the holes and I left the burgundy little elastics in there because it's festive and um so i put my other my next journal that i was going to be going into which is the a6 dalogy i brought it with me and i finished up that journal my cafe notes on the 22nd and then i immediately started in here and i am on page 76 and i started this on the 22nd of the 22nd of December. So I'm going through it kind of fast, which I don't really mean to. It's just that it's so small. It's A6 size, but I like it. I like the paper. I like everything about it. And the last time I journaled in Astrology was when I first started journaling back in June of 2019, seriously journaling. And so that's the last time I had Astrology, but I'm really, really enjoying this so far. And um, when I'm all done with this one, which shouldn't be long, um, I will do a review on that one as well. So those are the journals that I brought. Um, here's my Delphonics pouch. And you guys have seen my Delphonics pouch before. Let me just 
come down here a bit if I can. I'm sorry that this is going to be a little bit of a longer video. I don't mean to. Um, so this is my journaling pouch, my Delphonics pouch. I have my watercoloring set in here, which I actually do watercolor out on the go. I love it. I just watercolored a great, uh, we were at Anastasia Beach yesterday and I was able to pull out my watercolors and sketch and watercolor and then my girls decided they were going to watercolor right next to me too. So that was a lot of fun. Where's my other pen? So since I've been here, I, I brought a lot of pens with me. I brought four pens completely full of ink. Let's not look at that area right now. I'll put you back up here. I only have my small tripod with me. Sorry. So I brought with me Uh, several fountain pens. I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to run out of ink because I do write a lot. So one, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven fountain pens. Now, some people may think that's excessive. I don't because I've already written through and completely dried the cartridges of four of them. So there's, <laughs> like I said, I do a lot of writing. So I had my, uh, Brass Caveco Sport and a medium nib. This is my beautiful Light of Hope hung, blue Hongdan. Um, yeah, the Hongdan Light of Hope. This is a Cross Bailey um, in the light series. And this is what I call my Lee Bamboo, which is just one of the, it, it's just a generic bamboo pen that you can get on um, Amazon from lots of different companies. But it was given to me with love by someone very special to me whose name is Mr. Lee that I grew up with. So I call it my Lee Bamboo. So I finished all of these and I am almost finished with, this is my Jin Hao 100 Centennial in the green marble, which I just got. I actually had it delivered to me while I was here. And I even brought, where'd you go? I even brought a little thing of ink so that I could ink it up when it got here. And it's KWZ Drum Goals Exclusive Discovery Green, which I really, really like. So that's what's in here right now. Um, and it matches so perfectly. I think I'm starting to become one of those matchy-matchy ink and penners. I don't know, but it's a lot of fun. So I have that one. And then I filled up two with like a really large ink reservoir. This is my Moon Man C1 that I love. Um, with the, It's got a great fine nib on it. That's like a border between fine and medium, but it's more on the fine side. And it's filled up with um, Pilot or Shizuku Morisaki Shikibu. And this is my beautiful Jade Twisby, which came out recently. Mine was Smooth by Kirk Smear from Pen, per, Kirk Smear, sorry, Kirk. Kirk Spear from Pen Realm. And it came to me so super smooth and delicious. I absolutely love it. And in here I have Sailor Gentle Tokiwa Matsu, which has become one of my favorite favorite greens. Now my fountain pen pouch, which is not just my fountain pen pouch, my pen pouch that I brought with me is one that I made um, when I was really kind of lusting over the superior labor, uh, the, you know, the green superior labor pen pouch that came out and everybody was like, oh my gosh, it's so great. And I was like, I know I want it so bad. But then my husband's like, make your own. And I'm like, no, I don't want to make my own. But he's like, make your own. So I made my own. Um, let me grab a couple things so I can put in here so I can show you exactly like what, what's what in it. What, 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 what? Okay. So when I made my pen pouch, I wanted it to be better than the Superior Labor Green pen pouch. It's so beautiful. I love the green. And it had the two um, pouches. You could put your pens, you could put pens in the, the big one, the big part of the pouch, and then there's the smaller one below it where you could put pocket pens. And I was like, I, if I'm gonna have a pouch like that, I'm gonna take everywhere, I wanna put more pens in it. So I made this, which I call my Franken pouch. This was some leather that um, Uncle Rusty, who is the, 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 the saddle maker that I was, mentioning earlier he actually gifted me some of this black leather and I love it so much I love like the raw edges of the leather so much and so I made this so it's about that thick and wide of course you close it with a snap 
and it holds all of my fountain pens in this back pocket. This is, well, all of my fountain pens that I have brought with me. I obviously did not bring them all. And I also have my little, my scissors that I bring with me everywhere too. Oh, I guess I could put my little Caveco Sport down here so you could really see the, you know, the two, the, the different sections. And then I'll just put this down here so you can see. Well, I made mine with three sections. So all my pens that I'm bringing with me on a daily basis anywhere, they go in the back section. I can put my pocket pens like my Cavecos in here in the second section. You can't really see it unless I like that. There's a second section there. And then I also made a third, a third spot so that I could put in sticky notes or ephemera. I really don't use a lot of like ephemera, ephemera though. It's more of like things that we found during our day or things that I liked, like this facial wipe from um, Galen Leather. I like it so much that I kept this so that I could actually try to buy a pack of the wipes. I love them. Like I hoard these when I order from Galen Leather, which isn't very often because like I said, I really don't have that kind of disposable income. Anyway, so that's my three section um, pen pouch that I love. I uh, There's two other people in the world who have one made by me. One is Kirk Spear of Pen Realm and the other one is Nikki, who is Wasabi Stationers. So we each have one of my lovely creations. Next up in my Delphonics pouch is my HP Sprocket, which I've been printing pictures of like Christmas and, and when we went to the beach and all this stuff. Um, I have sticky notes in one of these pockets. Um, I also have my Bob Ross thingy here that has a whole bunch of paper clips and it has more um, of like the little small things that you use. Like I use a lot of paper clips for stuff. I have my travel watercolor palette, my Koi palette. It's not the best watercolors in the world, but I can't justify buying a new palette uh, while I still have watercolors in them. So I actually just got these water brushes for my daughters because I bought them water brush or watercolor, travel watercolor palettes for Christmas because they really like watercoloring with me. And then at the very bottom of my Delphonics pouch, I have, oh no, I have one of my Blackwing um, matte sketch pen pencils. I have two uh, Zen Royal, Zen Royal and Lang Nickel uh, round brushes that I got from Jet Pens a while back and I really like using those. And then I have a metal ruler and it's just at the bottom in here with some pencils. I don't really need to pull out the pencils so you can see them. Um, on the front part here, I have, cause I'm always looking for rubber bands. And this I was using as a bookmark. My daughter found a piece of lace for me somewhere. And so I was using it as a bookmark. Um, I've got my pins and, and stuff, which really isn't, doesn't matter. I have another water brush that's full of water. I have a Pigma Micron and a 0.5 that I use to go over the things that I wash. Um, or that I do. And this is a Pen BBS uh, 471. That is a mini pen. It's a fountain pen and a ballpoint pen. And I was trying to turn the fountain pen part. I was trying to make it from a fine or an, a fine into a broad. And then I messed it up really bad. Surprise. And so then I put on this little, the other part that comes with it, the, the ballpoint. And um, it's pretty okay. I'm actually gonna do a review on this too because there's no reviews on the ballpoint pen part that comes with this pen. Yeah, that's really stupid. I also have my Cam Camelus titanium uh, knife that I use for a lot of different things. I always have a knife in my, my pouches and stuff. In here, I just have some like letters and pen pal stuff I'm sending out. Um, I've got two really great uh, 
Cohen Noor Technograph pencils. They're vintage, but they come with like the best um, lead out there. You can get like a, a really soft graphite or you can get a heart firmer graphite. And um, I really like using those for sketching and I have just extras of those leads in here. And off to the side, I have some washi. I'm not really using any of this washi right now, but I put it here because I wanna use it up and get rid of it. Back here, ooh, back here I have our tickets. We're gonna be going to Universal the day after tomorrow. And so I have our tickets in the very back. And that's what I have in my Delphonics pouch. Also have an extra pad too. I mean, we're girls, right? Most of us, we're girls, so we can say that. I'm gonna put my ink back in there. Um, and then I have this small little pouch that I've been keeping in my bag. I actually made this pouch too because I really wanted to get a Superior Labor Engineers pouch. The Engineers pouch, like I wanted to get a smaller one and a larger one, you know, for, you know, storage and like carrying my, my stuff with me in my backpack. I carry a backpack purse. Well, it's a backpack, but it's also my purse. Um, and I really wanted one, but they're just so expensive. And I really, like I said, I can't justify that expense when I'm not making a regular YouTube income. So I went through my fabric stash and I happened to have some canvas and an extra blue zipper and I have some blue acrylic paint. And so I made my little flat bottomed it's, it's kind of old though, it's been used a lot. So my, well, I use it a lot, I use it every day. So my paint on the sides is coming off a little bit, but that's okay, it's just wearing it in. And I've got a couple of my little pens on there. And then I also, cause for a while I was making and selling the things that I made. And so my store that I was, it's called, I don't know if you can see that. It's called Winnie Llewellyn. And so I just put my tags in there, but you open it up and it's really big, just a big old canvas pouch, but I need to make a bigger one. Inside here, I'm also knitting a pair of socks right now for my oldest daughter. And this is just the package that my 48, 40 inch lace circular needles are in. And then in here is just a pair of scissors, and then while we were visiting my mom for a part of the vacation, my mom was trying to teach my daughters how to make um, paper beads. And I was like, ooh, I wanna try too. Well, I really enjoyed using the Mod Podge so much that I shouldn't have used that much, but these are my paper beads. They turned out really not good. Um, so there's that. And then I just have some washies in here that, uh, I want to use up too. Not a whole bunch of them, just some of them, but I want to use up all the washi that I have. And this is the my pattern for the socks that I'm following for my daughter. And when I don't have my journal in here or anything else in here, like my pen pouch, then I squeeze my sock yarn in here in my needles and it goes in my backpack just like everything else. And then that way I can knit on the go too, because I've always got to be doing something with my hands. I can't just be stagnant and sitting. I have to be doing something with my hands. I have ADHD among other things. So that's just one of those things. And I know I already showed you this, but I wanted to show it to you again because I love it so much. I made this. This is my own. It's so pretty. The Kentucky bluegrass, even though I didn't like writing with it, it came out as a leather dye so beautifully. And so when I'm, my other little thing is when I am like writing on my pages, I need to figure out a dupe for um, ink blotting pages. This came with, well, this whole page came with my cafe notes and I love using it. Like, I don't know why I've never had an ink blotting paper before. Um, and when I was done with the cafe notes, I cut the paper in half and I've been using that in my Asics Stalogy. 
but it's getting to the point now that when I put my fingers down on it, as I'm, you know, whatever, I'm getting the ink on my fingers, so I need another one. But I really, like I said, I don't have the funds to go put out another order into Amazon or where else to get just ink blotting paper. So I'm thinking about trying maybe my husband's, when we get home, like maybe a shop cloth or something. I don't know. But I also made this for when I am writing and I need a hard start, or I need my pages to be like super crisp and sharp and over here. Then, so I made this guy right here, which is just a little clip and then this green little ball thing. And I like it. I don't know. I like green. Green's my thing. I dig it. Um, and as far as journaling and writing, that's it. I have finally gotten to the end of my what everything I brought with me. And so it's a long video, it's 30 minutes. I'm so sorry about that, but I hope you enjoyed watching and that's everything I brought with me and everything that I'm using. And there's nothing that I brought with me that I didn't use and that I'm not using. We still have a few days left. We're going to Universal the day after tomorrow and I will be stopping and journaling while we're there. And my daughter's, um, uh, on my mother-in-law's sewing machine, I'm going to be making my daughter's little zipper pouches too to keep their um, their travel watercolor palettes in. And we are going. Part of what we're going to do is we are going to absolutely stop. And when we have lunch one of these days, one of those somewhere, we're going to take some time and paint together as well. And then as we do that, I take pictures and I just print them off on my sprocket. And I put them in here, whoops. And then I put them in my thing. So that was when we were watercoloring earlier today. And this, my 15 year old daughter was outside and she found a green animal and we named him Jorge. Yesterday we had another green animal that just kind of jumped onto her lap and we named him um, Estevez. Why, I don't know. I don't know. So the other day was Estevez and this one is um, Jorge. And so we took pictures of that. Um, we went to go to, we went to, um, what is the name of the beach? I don't know why I keep forgetting the name of this beach. Oh, I did a butterfly while we were driving. And you know what I love about Florida is that you can drive on the highways here on Florida and anywhere or your husband can drive and you can write. Like I can write without messing up everything. Like as soon as we get to Georgia or North Carolina, South Carolina, especially in Louisiana, you can't do that because the roads are horrible. But here in Florida, they are nice. But this was something that I watercolored from when we were at Anastasia Beach yesterday on Christmas day. And my girls actually, and my father-in-law got out there and were in the water. So we were able to drive back through St. Augustine to see the lights and it was just a lot of fun. Anyway, so that's everything that I brought with me. I hope you stuck with me to the end. If you have any questions about anything that I that I brought, anything that I made, um, please leave your questions down below, leave your comments down below. I would love to hear them. Please interact with me. That would be super duper great. I don't want my YouTube channel to just like descend into obscurity because I like making videos for you guys. It's not just about getting a YouTube check every other month or, or every month or every other month or every two months. It's not just about that. That's just like an icing on the cake that helps me to buy supplies with that I can make new things for, you know, my journaling hobby. And it helps so that I can buy, you know, a cheap pen every once in a while. Like I can't, ah, oh, I just can't make myself buy a really expensive one. So but I have a lot of pens to review for you too. So that'll be fun. But yep. So give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I hope you don't mind this kind of video, this kind of slapdash, whatever. That's just, that's who I am. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a really Merry Christmas and I wish you nothing but success and blessings for the rest of the year and the new year.